Now, those of you who have been on one of my weather school courses will already know that uh, one of the things I try to do is to get you thinking like a weatherman. So, sort of thinking and being in tune with the weather and feeling the atmosphere around you. Now, one of the things I do say is Mark One Eyeball is one of the best instruments that you can possibly have. Now, I'm just back from my morning gym session. Yeah, all right, okay, I know it's not the best advert for gyms, is it? Um, but I am not forecasting on shift today. So um, I've kind of got up early, I've gone to the gym, and I've glanced at charts but haven't really taken much notice. So I'm kind of coming to this in the raw, as it were and i'm feeling the weather as perhaps you might um having ventured outside for the first time uh, in the morning now my weatherman's head is kind of attuned to the weather and what it's doing around me at the moment first thing to notice is that it's a january morning but actually it's fairly mild there's quite a bit of uh, cloud around as well which means there's, there's lots of moisture in the atmosphere and what that means is that both the engine is running and the fuel is available to make the atmosphere perhaps do something. Now a real big giveaway are the clouds. If you take a look at the clouds here that are around they are stratocumulus clouds. Now that indicates that the atmosphere is relatively stable and what that means is that changes are probably not going to be that rapid if they do take place which they could do during the course of the day now with a relatively mild atmosphere and with moisture available as well if this were the summer we'd be thinking well yes that tells us there's the stability but with the heat of the day it could be that showers could trigger they could get over the stability and showers could trigger but as it's winter the chances of that are far more likely and that stratocumulus cloud is telling us that that stable layer of the atmosphere probably isn't going to move far um, during the next few hours now the next stage would be to take a look at the charts and I suspect that the warm front has passed through and we're in the warm sector. That's the area between the warm front and the cold front. But that's just building the forecasting story for the day. Now don't forget to subscribe by pressing the button below. Remember to trigger the notification alert as well, clicking on the bell, which means that um, you'll get notified every time one of these videos are updated. And you can follow us on social media as well. These are the addresses to put in, in order to be able to find us on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook. Don't forget, it'd be great to see you at one of the Weather School courses as well. If you go to weatherschool.co.uk and take a look there. And there's an online course for aviators there as well. And I'm adding more courses all the time. Okay, so I'll leave you with that for now. But thanks again for watching. Enjoy feeling the weather and keep the sun shining. And bye for now.